What's up everybody, DS the Drunk Heavy again today, and today I'm going to bring you the third instructional video of my new player's guide series, a new player's guide to fittings. Now if you haven't seen the previous videos of the series, click the link uh, shown on the screen now to be taken to the playlist. Uh, hopefully this series can help new players get acclimated in the game and provide the information needed to succeed later on. With that being said, let's get started. To access your fittings, press select or L1 to bring up the Neocom, scroll to fitting and select drop suit fitting. Now if you haven't created any fittings, you're going to see four uh, assault starter fits. These fits are infinite use, but they're very weak. Um, they're free, so they're really good for grinding ISK, especially at the beginning when you don't really have much at all. Um, a lot of experienced players, you know, they'll use their BPO suits or they'll just run in one of these free suits. Uh, just to make some extra is now once you have the skills and is to create a decent fitting I highly recommend doing so the first thing you need to know about your fittings is the connection between skills and equipment for you to access certain equipment or gear or modules or weapons um, you must have the corresponding skill for example to use the GEC 38 assault rifle you must have the skill assault rifle operation uh, to level 3 the second most important thing you should know about your fittings is the CPU and power grid limits of your drop suits. For every suit there are different limits um, for your CPU and power grid, which I'll now call PG. Uh, the limits increase the farther up the ladder you go from basic frame suits to frame prototype suits and racial basic suits to racial prototype suits. For example, my basic heavy frame suit starts off with 218 CPU and 42 PG. My advanced frame suit starts off with 262 CPU and 50 PG. And my prototype uh, frame suit starts with 327 CPU and 63 PG. Now each piece of gear you select has a PG and CPU value, with lower level gear not using as much and higher level gear using a solid amount. Now your fitting is going to revolve around how much CPU and PG you have. There are several skills you can use uh, to upgrade uh, the amount of CPU and PG you have, but they're most likely not going to be necessary for a while, so I'm not going to go into them right now. Now when you're editing your fitting, there are two goldish oranges bars on the left and right of the circle. Uh, you can see it on the screen, it's, it's to the left or the right, um, it's right inside the modules. Now these are going to grow or shrink depending on what changes you make to your um, your fitting. So if I use a weapon that has a higher CPU, the bars are going to go up. But if I use one with less CPU, the bar is going to go down. Now if the bar turns red, this means that equipping the gear you have selected will put your fitting over the CPU or PG limit making the suit inaccessible in game. That's very important to know. You're also going to get a little warning saying, you know, it's not available. You can't do that. But I'll show you right here. I'll try to throw, I'll, I'll do something with this suit. I don't even know if I can, I'll, I'll go to my forge. So with this fitting, it's pretty maxed out. It has 50 of 50 PG. So I'm going to just throw another grenade on there just to show you what happens to the bars when you th when you put them on there. So there's the bar, you see the bar on the right, it went red. So that means if I try to put a flux grenade on this fit, I'm going to not have any PG. You can also see the statistics uh, right below the bars. The one on the left says 282 out of 304 CPU and the one on the right says 52 out of 50 PG. So that means I'm not going to be able to do this. Now to create a new fitting, you're going to select create new and from here you're going to select your drop suit of choice. I'm going to be using the Militia Kaldari medium frame suit just for the sake of this video. This suit is terrible but I'm just using it for instructional purposes. Um, on the right side of the screen you're going to see the statistics, I can't say, I cannot say statistics. You're going to see the statistics of the drop suit. It shows that I have 0 of 182 CPU and 0 of 30 PG. Now mind you, I have some upgrades for my CPU and my PG, so that's going to be a little bit higher than what um, a beginner is going to have. So just use that, you know, kind of take what I throw on here with a grain of salt. 
Now the rest of the statistics that are shown can change depending on what equipment I put on this drop suit. For example, if I put a kinetic catalyzer, my sprint speed's gonna go up. Um, if I put on that other thing, I forgot what it's called, let me find it. The cardiac regulator, that means my stamina is gonna go up. Um, if I add armor plates, my armor is going to go up. If I add shield extenders, my shield is going to go up. So everything you do can change your statistics of your suit. Now a good starting point is deciding which weapon you would like to use. To access your primary weapon, you'll move your left thumbstick down into the left to the L slot or H slot for heavies. This stands for light weapon and means you can use any light weapon or sidearm in this slot. Now if you're a heavy, the H slot stands for heavy weapon, and you can use any heavy weapon, light weapon, or sidearm. Now press the X button to bring up your assets. Uh, you're going to see a list of weapons to choose from. If you've been playing for a while, you're going to have some weapons from salvage that you probably won't be able to use because you don't have the skills. Um, the lettering of these weapons will be red and will not allow you to select them until you have the appropriate skill level. Now as always, press the triangle button. Uh, to bring up the information screen and press R2 to see the prerequisites and this will show you you know what skills you need to use this particular weapon you can see what weapons are available to you to purchase by selecting go to marketplace now, this is going to show a list of all the weapons that are available to purchase and use according to your current skills now once you have the weapons you would like to use select go to assets and I didn't select go to assets my bad so I'm gonna go here, I hit the wrong button. All right, go to L slot. All right, there we go, go to assets. Now from here, you're gonna select your weapon of choice and press X to add the weapon to your fitting. Now this is gonna add the weapon to your drop suit and you'll see that your CPU and PG values have increased. Now this method applies to every slot of your fitting. If you don't have something in your assets, you can access the marketplace to purchase the item you want or something that you know you're able to use so you can use it on your fitting now directly to the right of the L slot is the S slot which stands for sidearm I call it a secondary weapon um, it's whatever you choose to call it really um, you can use any secondary weapon or sidearm available to you to fill this slot now select which weapon you would like to use if any and press X to confirm so I'm just gonna go with the toxin SMG now on the far left of the fitting circle are what are known as high slots. Now these slots can be filled by infantry high powered modules. Uh, some of these modules include but are not limited to damage modifiers, shield extenders, shield rechargers, and precision enhancers. So I'm going to throw on a basic light damage modifier and a, I guess, militia shield extender. On the opposite side of the circle are your low slots. Now these slots are basically the same as your high slots but they use different modules. Uh, some of the modules include but are not limited to armor plates, armor repairs, cardiac regulators, kinetic catalyzers, and shield regulators. So I'm going to throw on some basic armor plates. Underneath your low slots will be your equipment slot. Now these slots are used for nano hives, nanite injectors, uplinks, and repair tools. Uh, these items are generally high CPU, high PG items. For example, the uh, militia drop up link is 50 CPU and 15 PG. Now you can see before, I'll back out real quick. You can see my bars on the left and the right. They're, they're not really that full. But then I go to throw this on here and boom, they're, they're almost all the way up to the limit. So I'm probably not going to do that because I'm going to want to have a grenade. So I'm not going to be using an uplink. I will just go with a nano hive. So I'm going to use the militia nano hive. To the left of the equipment slot is your grenade slot. Now this slot can be used to equip regular grenades, uh, flux grenades, or anti-vehicle grenades. So I'm just going to see if I can throw on a flux, and I can. So I'm going to use flux grenades. That's just a basic tour of how to create your initial fittings. As you learn more skills and gain better equipment, you're going to be able to fine tune your suit to fit your personal needs. For example, if you'd like to be fast and agile, using kinetic catalyzers and cardiac regulators will help you out with that. If you'd like more HP, using armor plates and shield extenders would be a good starting point. It all depends on how you would like to shape your character. 
Now that we have your initial drop suit created, I'll show you some more of the things you can do in this menu. Um, when you're in your drop suit menu right here, um, you can select any of the gear on the suit by moving over it and pressing X. This is going to bring up a small menu consisting of replace, remove, restock, and show info. Re place means that you will be taken to your assets to select something new to put in the slot. Remove takes the selected gear off the slot. Restock brings up this menu to purchase however many of the module you would like and show info does the same thing as pressing triangle over the gear. Not only can you do that for your modules but it's very similar for the entire fitting. If you go to your fitting list, select your fitting and press X. This is going to bring up a small menu. Edit takes you to your fitting screen to allow you to make changes to the, the entire fitting. Um, Restock is just like the module restock option except it restocks everything in the entire fitting at one time. Duplicate creates a copy of your fitting in case you'd like to make some changes but still have the original fitting. Favorite takes the fitting to the top of the list to make it more easily accessible in game and also makes your selected fitting the drop suit that will be shown in the war barge and mercenary quarters. Uh, rename allows you to name the fitting whatever you would like. Um, they're in order numerically followed by alphabetically, so if you'd like them to be in a specific order, you can use that. Um, and delete fitting erases the fitting from your list. Now as far as giving advice on how to build your fittings, it's a lot easier to do on an individual basis. Um, you're going to find your own style of play. You're going to find the, the everything that works for you. Um, but you can't really you know get advice just by the masses um, if you continue to have trouble though feel free to message me here or in game and I'll see what I can do to help you out I've helped out a few people already uh, just getting into their suits and, and helping them learn what exactly uh, they need for their initial suits and there are many things you can do with your suits just be creative have fun with it and see what kind of suit best fits you. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions, additions, or would like to tell me I'm a dumbass, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that bullshit, and I'll see you all around.